the professor was like understanding the question it's part of the exam and that was final as you all can see it's another story time and i am going to be talking about some of the experiences i've had in the university you know as an african child moving to a different continent a different country things are just not the same from where i'm coming from so i've had quite a lot of things happen the way i didn't expect them hello everyone you're welcome to another video if you're new here my name is aladi ako i make educational videos and sometimes i like to make videos about cultural differences and if you know you will like such content please hit the subscribe button subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you already like this video some of you you keep asking that um you want to know how is life there what are the differences in academics and all that and i know i did the part one of this story this is kind of like an unofficial part two so and i asked you guys you want us to see a part two or do you want me to talk more about it and you guys are like yeah 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 so here we have the part two a random part two and before that we have a special guest on our channel today um, i'm collaborating with another youtuber she graduated from an ivy league college and she's going to be walking you through how to get into top universities you want to go to top schools or ivy league universities like Harvard, Yale and all that. I'm not going to give away which of the top school or Ivy League school she graduated from. After watching this video, please go check out her own video. Then you, why don't you come up and introduce yourself. Hey guys, my name is Doi and my channel is Doi.com. On this channel, I share a lot of grad school admission tips and also scholarship information for international students. So I recently graduated from Yale, I completed my MBA program there and my goal on this channel is to help you get into your dream grad school and also get really good funding for the program of your choice. So please head over to my channel and consider subscribing as today I'll be sharing with you how you can get into an Ivy League program and really any school of your choice. So please um, check out my YouTube channel and please subscribe. I look forward to welcoming you on the channel. So thank you. So yeah, you just heard from the horse smart. Make sure to check her out. And so now I'm going to start. I have like nine items on my list here, which I want to randomly gist about. I know you guys like gist, even though I don't know if I know how to gist very well. Something that felt really strange for me or weird was writing exam in 50 minutes. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> this is the scariest thing ever. Like when you're used to writing exams in like two hours, at least one hour, 30 minutes. And here you have to write an exam in less than 50 minutes. Well, exception of the finals, the finals, I think you get about two hours or one hour, 50 minutes to write those. But your regular midterm exam, 50 minutes. And this was something I really struggled with. My first exam ever, I think I scored um 75 or 70 it was less than 80 yeah and you know here anything in the range of 70 to 75 i think that's a c so for you to get a b you have to have above 80 and yeah depending on the class some classes 83 some classes 80 so that was already a c and the first exam let's be honest they are most likely the easiest exams ever and then getting 75 in the first exam was really and the second class i was taking then i think i had less than that maybe i can't remember i can't really remember but it was lower than 70 probably 60 i don't know so this is something i struggled with um for a long time but you just have to know that this is a skill you need to learn because um when i started failing because i was failing actually if you've not watched my academic probation video i'm gonna put the link somewhere here do go check it out and see for yourself and i had to go for counseling i had to talk to professors you know, i had to go to them and explain to them where i'm coming from i'm not used to writing exams in you know 50 minutes and they all advised me one thing that helped me overcome that was sitting beside someone like my friend we usually have like the way the class is arranged i think two people 
can you know the seats are kind of close together i don't know but that particular class i had a friend that i was working with so during the exam i used to look at him and see how calm he was he would just be relaxed and be writing as if there's no tomorrow i'm like Aladi, why are you in a hurry to think? Why are you panicking? Can you just relax? That was that was it. That was how I learned how to be calm and write my exam in 50 minutes and be done and still have my grades good. So yeah, it's something you just have to learn. Just relax. Nobody's chasing you because the more you keep saying, oh, I just have 50 minutes. Hey, hey, that's, that was just me. Like, I'll be like, hey, I was just looking at the time and it was not a good experience i i i don't i, I don't totally don't like it another thing about this exam thing is that you're gonna see students like within 10 20 30 minutes into the exam i don't know like just few minutes into the exam they are standing up going to submit their papers and you're like okay um am i that dumb or what's going on and you're just intimidated and let me tell you fun fact i'm always the last student to submit their exam because even if i finish i wouldn't even stand up i would sit there and keep cross checking and i always see it like this is my last chance to get this thing done one day um i sat beside one guy like that that usually likes submitting very early and there was this day the professor was giving back the grade book and when he got his script back he just dropped it beside his desk and i saw it the score was not really even i was like mm. so these people just submit it's not like they, they are going to get 100 over 100 so don't be intimidated it's normal it's going to happen just forget just know that you came alone your fight is for you alone so don't rush anything the next thing i want to talk about is talking to professors to extend due dates for homework huh to be honest i have never ever if i can remember i have never ever asked the professor to extend the due date or anything or oh, it wasn't even a normal thing for people to do it's not something that comes to your mind um where i had my undergrad but here there was a time i went to a professor and i was telling him that oh this homework i don't really get it blah, blah, blah. he was like well that if i'm not able to, if i see that i'm not going to be able to finish it up on time that i can ask for an extension that he's willing to extend the due date i was like hmm, seriously um at the end of the day i don't think i really you know took the offer but because i got my homework done before then so it's something that is i've learned here it's normal to ask um some professors are willing to extend the due date so if you're stuck with the homework you've been working on but something that you must know is that don't just show up like let's say the assignment is due tomorrow and then you show up to the professor like you show up in his office like a day before the due date and you're trying to ask for extension well i'm not saying it's not going to happen but it's not wise try to work with your professors like if an assignment is assigned <laughs> an assignment is assigned <laughs> what i usually do is i start working on it probably the next day or that same day if i'm not too lazy and then if i run into a problem i just make sure i run to the professor's office and try to clarify things so i'm kind of like keeping him or her in the loop so that if anything goes wrong they'll know that oh this one has been coming no it's not like it's just like it's due tomorrow and then you are showing up today um the day before <laughs> so you know what i'm saying so make sure you keep the um relationship another thing is about homeworks like getting partial solutions or clue from your professors if you get a homework and you're stuck on it the best person to contact is your professor because um some of them are really kind they're really nice um, um and you know when you go to them you're trying to understand something they give you pointers they give you clue they're not going to tell you the answer but the way they are going to you know i've had this experience when i went to a professor and i was asking him how do i do this blah 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 and he was asking me he'll ask you questions that will lead to the answer or something i don't know how best to explain this but they are so so helpful so just know that if you're giving a homework and you're struggling with cheat or if you ever find yourself struggling with a homework make sure to contact your professor and try to get all the help you can get they are there for you they are going to help you they have office hours so make sure you reach out to them um another thing is using pencil to write exams or even taking lecture notes and all that you know like when i was growing up when i was in primary school we used to write um you know our exams everything with pen but when it comes to drawing maybe you want to draw something that's when you're allowed to write with pencil you can you can't write with pencil and submit that exam like 
let's say yeah you're having an exam and then you decide to write pen with pencil and submit it <laughs> are you serious like why let me know in your country do you guys write with pencil like you're an you're an african and in your african country you guys write exams with pencil so this is something you're going to experience when you come here and it is totally normal it is fine here you can write your exam whatever you're writing you can submit with pencil and the professor is going to grade it and give you back your work without any trouble but i really like it because if you if you're writing an exam with pencil and you make a mistake you can easily um, erase everything and just you know write it all over again than when you're writing with pen another interesting thing <laughs> for me is um being able to ask questions during the exam i mean you can raise up like let me just give you a story when i i think it was my first exam so we were writing this exam and suddenly one of the students just you know called the attention of the professor and the professor went there and the student went like um you said we should do this so um do you mean we should do this like <laughs> basically the student was just asking to like the professor to explain the question to be honest i've had this situation i don't know whether it was in my primary school or secondary i don't know or uni i don't know and um there was this question that a friend of mine or one of my classmates tried to ask and he was like um i don't she he or she i can't remember who exactly but they were trying to ask what do you mean and the professor was like understanding the question is part of the exam <laughs> So the professor did not explain anything but here if you don't understand a question you can raise up your hand i was like wow so this is possible so welcome on board every exam i wrote like and i was stuck on something i don't even want to spend too much time because you have 50 minutes right and you don't want to spend all your time trying to understand just one question because probably you have about six five questions and you probably some of these questions have a b c d and you want to waste all your time on i just quickly raise up my hand to make the professor um know that oh i will need help or i need help and then they will come to me and i'll be like hey what do you mean by this the professor will say oh remember when we talked about this in class and that he gives you a clue to kind of remember um that and that's it and another thing you will you are allowed to bring a cheat sheet into the exam all my life you know we've never done this like which exam will allow you to bring and you know typically this cheat sheet allows you to put all the formulas if you're going to be solving mathematical equations and all that you know anything that can make you remember the answer you are allowed to put it on that the professor doesn't care what you're going to put there they just give you a specification that it shouldn't be more than one page or it shouldn't you know more than there, there was one that we were allowed to bring in two pages so let's say you're reading now and you probably didn't understand something very well or you understood it and you tend to forget that thing you can just write a clue on that cheat sheet like just write it's typically i wouldn't say it's an a4 paper i don't know there's a size they actually give you the size so you can write all the things if you know you're going to forget this you can write the definition there anything they don't care what you put in on that i was like huh you know what you know like if you've gone to some of these nigerian schools there's something people when people like to write on their hand maybe they want to cheat they call it gentle reminder they that your gentle reminder is legal here you can actually bring it into the hall so long as it's not more than the required number of pages and wow, wow, this is so, good. so it helps so when you're studying you have to just focus on understanding and not cramming definitions and all that because you can if you want write it on your cheat sheet you get to write whatever you decide to write these two things i'm gonna share right now is not really something that happened to me but my friend because when i told him i wanted to film a video around um stuff like this and he was like whoa, 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 whoa let me share my experience with you so that you can probably incorporate it into your video he was like um when he came they had this assignment and they were supposed to plot a graph you know submit it and all that and um local man did not know that he was supposed to use excel to do it he was looking for graph sheets <laughs> he was looking for graph sheet up and down and you know it was kind of embarrassing because <laughs> but me who, who who is using graph sheet and then um another thing that is common in his department is um 
you know they have these open book exam and take home exams my department now nah, you have to write all your exams in class and all that so it, i didn't really experience that so i know in some schools too they do take home exams open book in nigeria so i think i've heard about that so it's something that is also common don't just expect that they say take home and open book it will be easy you know those exams i feel like i think I've ha I haven't had one but from what students are saying it tends to be more difficult because you have more time to do it right so yeah that's just basically it so guys all these and more are things that you should look out for these things are normal here you're going to experience one or two of these things and maybe all so let me know in the comment section if you're currently schooling in the USA Canada you know North America how has it been um, what are the challenges what are your experiences things that you felt like oh this is not normal like mm, i'm not used to this let me know in the comment section and if you've experienced any of the things that i've said in this video let me know in the comment section as well don't forget to hit the like button subscribe share comment down below and please do not forget to go to donia's channel and check out what she has to say i mean i also want to go to an ivy league school who doesn't want to go so let's all go there together now let's match there and go watch her video and the link will be right here so click on it and um see you there so guys thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye do you want a part three do you want a part three <laughs> see you in my next video okay bye